Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Um, if I were to give this, it's been a while, but if I, if I were to give this sermon a title, it would be, somebody had to go to the cross. Um, okay, um, let me start this with a story. Um, I, to get out of bed, I use, use a Hoyer lift, which is basically, um, for those of you who don't know, it's kind of like a thing, um, they attach this, like, hammock thing, not attached, but they put it behind your back, and there are these straps that connect to this, like, cr um, thing that lifts you up into the air. And that's how I get out of bed. So a few weeks ago, my Hoyer lift started making, um, started stalling up in the air. So the, the company came, fixed it, still did it, came again, fixed something else, still did it, um, and they fixed something else. So they came back and forth and back and forth. And about last week, um, it, st it started stalling for good. And usually we could fiddle with it. We could press the emergency buttons and it would go. But you could tell the lift, the lift was going. So um, yesterday, Yesterday, um, finally, it went up. I should tell you this. Okay, I knew that it was going to go down. That it was going to do something and stall on me. Um, but I... I still... I, I knew that something was going to go down. And I'm like, Lord... Please don't let this thing stop up in the air. And, and, um, lo and behold, yesterday morning, the lift stall stopped and wouldn't go down. It w they got me up fine. They got the sling, which is the thing they attach to these hooks to lift me out of bed. They got the sling on me, they, they, we lifted it, we lifted up just fine, and when it got time to put me down in the chair, the thing wouldn't go down. So there I was, about, um, pretty close to like 7.15, 7.20 in the morning, um, stuck up in the air. I was safe, everything was safe, but I was stuck in the air. We tried everything we tried. Um, putting it down, we tried all the tricks we had before, and nothing worked. So, we had to call the fire department to get me down. And after I got down and everything was okay, so, I decided that I had to call the company to get an another lift. Like, as you guys know, um, today in Canada is a holiday. It's our Labor Day. Um, and you know on holidays, people don't work. So, anyway, I called their emergency service, and it turns out Nobody was there on their emergency service. I called about six times and no one was there. And through um, this calling and this trouble with the lift and trouble getting me down, I said, Lord, why? Why did this have to happen? I, to I prayed. I, I told you that I, I wanted things to work smoothly. Um, cause it was going before, but it always went down or whatever. If we charged it a bit, if we 
did the emergency thing, but this time it, it wouldn't go down. And I said, Lord, I didn't. And I was praying, Lord, let it go up at least and let it go down at least until they can fix it. And then I, and then through calling HME and getting, HME is the company that deals with my lift. They deal with lift chairs and all that. So through calling HME, not getting anyone, not getting anywhere, the Lord said to me, Some, someone had to go to the cross. Um... And so, he gave me this sermon through all the headache yesterday. And yes, I did get a loner lift. Yes, everything's fine. I said that to say, um, sometimes we don't know why our prayers are not answered. We don't know why we're going through that um, thing. He said someone has to go um, to the cross, which means someone has to take the sacrifice to make things better. So you're wondering why you're going through all this, why you're losing your job. You're not going through this for you. You're going through it because you can speak on it. So he's really, he, t he taught me yesterday that the reason why some prayers aren't answered is because sometimes there's a greater purpose. And he was talking to me yesterday about um, changing things for people with disabilities to make it easier to get them to fix chairs and to, to get easier service on the weekends. And he was bringing all these ideas to me, which I will act on and speaking to the manager about getting, um, instead of a machine, getting a cell phone or having a cell phone number. But, but beside all of that, I had to be, to go through that because, um, I could be a voice for not only people with disabilities, um, but other people to make them understand why this equipment has to work and why when we need service, we need it right now. We can't afford to wait for um, a holiday or whatever. And it cannot be um, like so hard. Um, so that's why he he didn't answer my prayer on Saturday night. And he said somebody had to go to go to the cross, which means just like Jesus had to sacrifice for our sins, every trial is a lesson in disguise. And sometimes the lessons you go through are to make your life better, but many, many times they're to make other people's life better because they know, God knows that you could speak, that you'll be in, uh, that you'll be put in front of audiences, that you'll have the chance to speak on behalf of people that can't speak for themselves. So that's why he's taking you through whatever he's taking you through, whether it be job loss, whether it be anything. So hold tight. The issues that you're going through are not for for nothing. They're to show you how strong you are, other people how strong you are, and they are to to let you know of certain issues in a certain uh, context of life. Because if you hadn't have had that experience, you can't speak to that experience. So when other people are going through that, you won't have any idea how to help them. You won't have any idea how to encourage them. You won't have any idea how to um, be there for them, what to tell them, what to do. 
And when God puts you in front of garments that could change things for people with disabilities, you wouldn't have had the experience that, yes, this is an issue. This is a problem. And God gave you the ability to speak on it. Sometimes we are a voice for the voiceless and we don't even know it. And sometimes we're going through stuff, not for ourselves, but for one, one day we can tell other people how to go through it. We can encourage other people because we've been there. And because we're people of God, he can give us insight on how to fix this industry that industry, that industry, he can give us insight on ways how to fix it, how to make it better. And one day he will give the pur purpose to your pain, purpose to your struggle. He will give all of that one day because he's God and he knows what he's doing. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye. Yeah. Okay, she knows that. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Hold on. Hold on just one sec.